Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over the PM post FOMC trades setups that were there uh, that you could have taken. But I strongly suggest that you use uh, micros for this because these moves are very fast. There are a lot of points and you can get wrecked really easy. Okay. So I usually don't trade FOMC until after 30 minutes after the press conference and kind of see if there's a good setup. Some of these were just too clean. Uh, the second one was extremely clean. And so I want to just point them out um, and um, we'll show you what you could have done here. And yes, I'll use one mini uh, because that's what I marked it on. I'm not on MNQ, but uh, I'll just show you what uh, you could have done if you had one mini on these. Now you are risking uh, money on high volatility news like this because it does move so much. I mean, if you look at this range here, just this range right here from 2 o'clock, see we had FOMC right there, and then we had the press conference there. So just from 2 o'clock, which is that gray area, it is a 300, almost a 300 point uh, hour, okay? So it's very volatile. Now if you caught the bottom and you went up there, you're loving it, right? Uh, if you were going short, you got wrecked fast. So be very uh, diligent in your trading. But I want to show you the couple of the trade setups that we took. Um, granted, it was in with uh, micros, uh, not minis. Um, okay, so right here is the high. Uh, let's see. Let's make sure this is the high. Okay, I think, I think that was the high. All right, well, there is no SMT right here right so where how far did we go like let's go to the 15 minute real quick because if you look back like there's nothing here like this is this, this it's, it's over here this is yesterday right or tuesday so yesterday but let's see what we actually went into let's go to the 15 minute and let's zoom out here okay so we filled in this fair value gap we traded in this fair value, fair value gap and we're in now into this fair value gap okay Technically, this is a breaker block right here. So let's let's move this. This is high, low, higher high, breakthrough and back. So this would be a this would be a good breaker block right here. Just tapped into that 15 minute breaker block. I'll do that like this, and I'll make that 15 minute. Okay, 15 minute breaker block that we just tapped into. See it? Oh, here I'll high. Low, higher high, traded through, comes back up, taps in and down, right? Okay, so that's where we went up through. But that's how we, we came up basically to fill all this. And now we're, if we reverse, that's where we're reversing from. The 15 minute for the breaker block. Okay, well there's no SMT here. That's why we'd go short, right? Where we look for shorts. However, uh, if we just keep playing this a little bit, see if we keep going up higher or not, see how it reacts. Okay. There's still no SMT. Okay. All right. So what there is right here is there is regular bearish divergence. Right. So we would expect price to start moving down. Specifically, I would want to see this candle. Let's look at this this candle be traded through to become a breaker. So right now it is a uh, order block. Okay. So when it trades through, it'll be a breaker block. Okay. All right. Now that order block is supporting price. Still no SMT or anything on any of this. Now, you do have SMT. Let me see. Let me see. I'm going to mark it somewhere on the screen. Yes, you do have SMT right here with YM. But I'm just not a huge fan of SMT with YM because sometimes it does its own thing, right? So uh, let's roll that on the top. So I, I rather trade with uh, the Kraken Correlation like a divergence, then SMT with YM. Now, if this was ES, I'd be like, yes, this is awesome. But there, 
they're both down. So this one is actually higher on YM. So uh, you have that, right? So for me to go short, consider shorts, I'm going to want to see this breaker be broken, okay? Let's go to the five minute real quick. Let's look at what the five minute does. Yeah, that'd be a wick there. It'd be the wick here. Okay. Let's go three minutes. Let's look at the three minute. Same kind of thing. All right. All right, let's go back here. All right, let's see. Breaks through that. I would consider that. Okay, now that's a breaker block for me. That is a breaker block. Breaker block. Okay. So now if it comes back up, you could take a trade. Now, granted, now just remember, this is a huge, huge volume, right? So like just the measuring the order block itself, okay? As close as I can get. Let's just see if I can get it right there. The order block itself is, sorry, the breaker block is 29 points. 20, yeah, 29 points. Okay, so my little, my, my, my little, trade setup that I'd want to take for 20 point handles right there. So I kind of really got to see like where it, how price reacts if we're going to do that. But let me show you, let's pull a fib from here to here and see where we're going. Here's two and a half. There's the two market makers. Let's see if it's a market maker sell model, smart money reversal. Okay, this would be, you know, your low risk buy or sell if it happens. And it rejects and it rejects that. Okay, so I'd want to, I would want, probably want to buy it right there or, or sell it right there. I know this, this wick's going to be screwy because it's going to show you that I'm already out, but let's just sell right there, right? Let's put our stop right here at 400. 400 if I can get to 400 it's just so close enough and let's go with uh, this one right here let's go right there let's go right here for let's go to 150 close enough close enough all right 3,000 trying to do it so but there you go okay right there now listen it could easily take me out and I'm $400 down just like that one candle Right, that's how fast this is. That's why I would really can really try to do this with micros, not minis, but that's what I did it on. So, right there. Okay, so we're in this trade. Now, when you are in a trade and you are, um, you know, some people would pull it the, the manipulation leg from this one to this one. I've seen others pull it from here to here. Uh, I, I would probably like this one better because uh, two and a half kind of lines up with this consolidation. Either way, however you want to pull it, between the one and one and a half is usually where the silver bullet zone is. So this fair value gap for me would be in the silver bullet zone. So we got the low risk sell right here. This would be another entry. Which would be a better entry if you were right here. It's perfect. It's like definitely, it's like completely in the zone. So I like this one better. Again, obviously, you pull it different both ways. So I'll leave it there for now. Either way, this for value gap is the one, one negative one to one and a half standard deviation is a silver bullet zone for the market maker silver bullet zone. So if it came back up there, I would want to see how price reacts there and I consider a short. Okay. Okay, so if I want to, I'd want to see that hold. Okay, just fill in price pretty close to it. I wouldn't want to buy there. Uh, there, I'd, you would have want to enter. You would have wanted to enter up here. But again, this this this, this fair value gap is probably more than my stop was would have been. Yeah, twenty two points. So I would have had to take it up here and hope this order block held. Um, but let's put, let's just put on a position. Let's put on the fair value gap there. Let's put on a position here. If you were going to open it, you're going to, you're going to have to do it at the medium, uh, the consequent encroachment of that fair value gap. And then your order block would have held and you would aimed for the same price level here. 
and see how it would have traded up. Oof, don't like that at all. Better. Okay, uh, that's nice. That's good. So you had two in, two chances to enter on the uh, consequent of the fair value gap. Uh, so that's good. Um, okay, and then let's see how far you go. Okay, and it does there, and it kind of consolidates. So I remember right, yeah. Okay, so depending on where you where you pulled it, it either went to two and a half or it went to uh, the three. But either way, there's your market maker sell model. There's two trade setups you could have taken. Granted, it's with FOMC, so you've got 150 points there and another 100 points there within like 12, 15 minutes. Uh, from here to here, so it would have been. 18 minutes you could add 250 points uh but again high risk high reward right so there's your two fomc post fomc trade setups that i saw uh i'm sure there's others that other people would see hey i saw this too i took this great it's awesome these are the two setups that for me that were pretty clean um again i would have liked it with with micros and had a you know 40 point stop versus a 20 point stop because you're dealing with you're coming back down with 300 uh, points here you can you need a little risk more because each candle is a lot more than your stop usually so for me that's what I would need to see so there are your two FOMC post FOMC trade setups for Wednesday May 1st 